My Living Basics 2-in-1 one, one cup coffee maker arrived on my doorstep a few days ago. Let's see what's in the box. First we have a permanent filter insert for using your own ground coffee. Next we are looking at the K-Cup compatible pod holder insert. Both of these inserts drop into the removable funnel housing found inside the unit. A nice feature is a two-piece, two-position drip tray which is adjustable for cup size. And finally, it comes with a fairly extensive, well-written manual to get you on your way to single cup coffee brewing bliss. Giving this unit a thorough visual inspection, it does have a nice looking finish, but overall it gives the impression of a cheap build. This of course won't matter if it performs as expected because it is after all a price point sale. One of the least expensive units in its class, ranging from $45 to $58 total price across several online vendors. At one time it came in a variety of colors, but as it is now on sale everywhere, red seems to be the only inventory remaining. Some of the online listings will show the dimensions of this unit as it appears on the right of the screen, while some will not. So let's do it quickly here. These coffee makers are just a bit over 13 inches high by 8 inches deep and a nice counter space saving 5.5 inches wide. So how does it perform? Well, I got only this far before running into a small problem. There's nothing easily visible about this stepped water gauge, and there's no cup size setting on these units as there is on a traditional Keurig machine. So you literally have to guess at first how much water to put in while running a series of trial and error tests until you figure it out. Here goes my sixth try at getting the amount of water to come out of this machine to match the cup size and the amount of coffee I am using. I've edited the painfully slow two minute or so brewing process here. Uh, this cup was um, half an inch from the top in terms of the water that I put in and that's how much coffee I got. Uh, it's a good inch and a quarter from the top. So I lost about three quarters of an inch of water uh, to the reservoir. Warning, warning, ID 10 T error, ID 10 T error. Despite usually picking up on how small kitchen appliances work rather quickly, I must concede that I just wasn't getting it with this unit at first, but finally by this point the lights came on. This unit does not work the same way as most small coffee makers do where the amount of water put in is what comes out. Instead, this K-Cup compatible machine puts out a consistent 10 ounces of water. Every time. It is basically a Keurig type of machine with one fixed cup size setting. But before leaving this area, I should mention another feature of this unit. This little white button here is a push activated switch that shuts the machine off when the lid is open. All right, let's see what happens this time. That click you just heard was the machine shutting itself off after the brewing cycle. And there it is, a perfect 10 ounce cup of coffee from a K-Cup. You can be the judge of whether I was being clueless here or not. It's not stated anywhere in the manual or the advertising that this coffee machine has just one 10 ounce output setting. On the fourth page of the manual you will find these two points, but they don't say that exactly. Another clue was seen in the online listings where it stated that the maximum capacity was 3 times 10 ounce cups, but at the same time images such as this were used in those very same listings. Using a 22 ounce travel cup and advertising for a coffee machine that only puts out a fixed 10 ounces is a bit ridiculous, don't you think? I am also not alone in my confusion. We hear and believe you, pal, or many others would not. Still, after getting over my little bit of frustration with this unit, I want to take the opportunity to amend two opinions I previously held about this machine. First, the manual may in fact be well written, but it is also undeniably a bit confusing. Secondly, and more importantly, I've taken down my earlier video reviewing this machine to change my do not buy recommendation to buy. That is, if you are okay with just the one 10 ounce cup size output setting. I've used this machine a lot in recent weeks and it works fine for what it was intended for. So now I have to admit that I was wrong about this coffee machine. ID10T error indeed. 
Well, that is all I wanted to say today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time. When the stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights, you'll be all right. I'll be right there with you. Together, we'll see it through. When the stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights, you'll be all right. I'll be right there with you. Together, we'll see it through.